Which nutrients are essential for healthy bones? And we're back again with six weeks to wellness from InviveHealth.com with Jan Fitzpatrick, your host, and part two of a four-part series that we're doing all about how to build better bones for life. So, Jan, what are we talking about in this episode? And then we'll do a quick rundown of what we're going to cover. Cool. Well, there are over 18 bone-building nutrients that are needed for healthy bones. They include minerals, vitamins, hormones, proteins, sunshine, probiotics, and essential fatty acids. Our bones are, are also storehouses for the essential minerals that are required for healthy functioning of the cells all over your body. Excellent. All right. Well, this sounds like it's going to be another interesting chat we're going to have. So we're going to talk about three things here. Yeah. Um, it's not what you eat. It's what you absorb and assimilate that matters. Uh, everybody mm -hmm. does not need milk. Uh, that's good to know because I'm not a big fan of milk personally. But uh, an interaction between <laughs> vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. That sounds pretty technical. So we're going to learn something useful. So, Jan. <laughs> Um, yes, okay. uh, you know, we've heard for years, you are what you eat, so you're saying it's not what you eat, it's what you are, what you absorb and you assimilate. Tell me about that. Yeah. Well, um, has your digestion changed since you um, got older? Well, mine certainly has, and it's really slowed down to a crawl. <laughs> so there, knowing that, then I've had to make um, changes to what I eat, the supplements that I take. Um, and be aware of different things that affect my digestion because if you can't absorb and assimilate the wonderful food that you're eating, you're not going to get any of those nutrients out of that food no matter how good your diet is. So just be aware that you're killing off your friendly bacteria which actually help you to digest, assimilate and absorb that food, uh, whether it be over the counter or prescription medications. Um, stress and we've all we've talked a lot about the stress um, that happens when women are right around the menopausal age everything's going on and that affects your population of friendly bacteria as well um, one way to get it repopulated is with foods with fermented foods but most of us don't traditionally use those fermented foods anymore and high quality supplements like acidophilus and bifidus or combinations of the over 30 different friendly bacteria that our body needs every year. So yes, we are a community in here, and uh, if your yes. nutrients, if your nutrients are literally just passing through, uh, yeah. they come for a visit, but they don't stick around, and obviously they're not building. They literally don't stick around and help you build uh, healthy bones. Yeah. Right? So well, we have to break up those cells in those foods to liberate the nutrients. Right, I mean, that goes into the chewing, that goes into the healthy gut, that, you know, the hydrochloric acid in your stomach, the friendly bacteria in your stomach, and small right. intestine and colon. It, it's all connected. It's one does not work without the other. Right, exactly. And, the, and that without those healthy bacteria that you can get from those probiotics, I mean, you actually yeah. can't break certain things down. You actually can't exactly. absorb them. So it is, a team, it is a team effort. We're not doing all the work just by chewing. Uh, there's a whole bunch of little friends that we have that are helping us out here. So. Oh, absolutely. All right. Well, so let's talk about milk. You know, we, uh, we've, mm -hmm. we've been inundated for, I don't know what, 50 years by the, uh, the dairy industry <laughs> saying uh, got, got milk and all that good stuff. Exactly. So, not everybody needs milk, so tell me about that. Because, like I said, I'm not yeah. a you know I don't get very much milk in my diet. Maybe ice yeah, cream. Er you know. <laughs> <laughs> everybody does not need milk, uh -huh. and uh, and I agree. I mean, did your my mom would let me go from the table if I finished? I might not eat anything else on my plate, but I had to finish my milk. Right. Drink your and milk. It was those, <laughs> yeah, it was those three glasses a day. And now that I know what I know, I'm wondering. Oh, I can't believe I still have bones left, but um, <laughs> that's one of the myths. But there are a couple of myths involved with milk. One of them is that calcium. Actually, I hate to break it to you, but calcium is not all that important as, mm, as really? advertised. It's just, and it's a minor player. It's just one of the many minerals that we need for healthy bones. Um, and studies have shown there's no association between drinking milk and decreased information of bone fractures. We've mm -hmm. already talked about it's not really, 
your bone density that matters. It's really avoiding fractures. And um, most milk, the pe the women who drank the most milk in the studies had the most fractures. Wow. Go figure. That's very I know. interesting. I know. However, women who got their dairy from yogurt and sour milk had no increase in fractures. And what they figured out is that it is the um, milk sugar called D-galactose that in milk it's there, it's perfect, but when it's in yogurt and sour milk it's actually fermented away. Wow. So they're thinking that may be the cause of the decrease of bone, you know, the increase in bone loss. And I, and I wonder if that drink milk. Sounds like that might go right along with what uh, we were just saying in point number one, which is that maybe it, it needs to already be partially broken down to help absorb it, uh, and and maybe that lack of breakdown in the milk means it's kind of passing through. Yes, and it's not doing any. Uh, the D-galactose needs to be taken out of the equation. Gotcha. And if, okay. yeah. Yeah, and if it's not before you drink it, then it does its, its uh, then it affects you. I, I also partly wonder, you know, it's like I'm drinking my three glasses of milk, so I'm going to take more chances, and maybe I fall in brand. Maybe those people broke the most because they they took the most chances because they were overconfident. I don't know. No, probably, no, probably not. Probably, <laughs> probably not. not. Okay. You're so trying to be so diligent. <laughs> so you've already started getting a little technical here with D galactose, uh, which is interesting. Yeah. Now, Let's talk it's about just a milk sugar. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about these vitamins and how they interact. Okay. So you're talking about vitamin D3 and vitamin K2, right? Yes, and I agree. K2 is something new. Most of us have heard of vitamin D3. Thought, it's it's actually inside. a mountain. There was like, yeah, I think there's yeah, a mountain yeah. called K2, but anyway, that's not what you mean. Yeah, you're so right. Don't, don't, um, well, this is a, not about climbing K2. This is about <laughs> your bones healthy. Well, if your bones are healthy, you probably can do that. There you go. Um, well, there's an old Italian saying that says, where the sun does not go, the doctor does, mm. which I thought was very appropriate for vitamin D3. Um, Vitamin D3 helps absorb calcium by creating, this is really critical, because like we said, everything works together synergistically, mm -hmm. um, and we've over-promoted calcium, we've over-promoted vitamin D3. Um, they're helpers. They're part of the whole system. You can't um, take a whole lot of one without balancing it with the others. Um, but D3 helps to absorb the calcium by creating vitamin K2 dependent proteins hmm. and the act interaction I mean there is to make vitamin D3 it's not just the sunlight hitting your skin there are there are so many steps in between and so many organs involved but basically the interaction of ultraviolet light and the sterol in your skin hmm. um, starts the reaction and if you don't have those things in place it doesn't naturally happen um, so what uh, it involves your kidneys, it involves your intestines. It's it's really interesting. Well, you it's know, really it's a system, right? I so, mean, it's a lot of moving parts to it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So um, if your lifestyle, um, it's having enough vitamin D three is all about your lifestyle. It's all about um, the fact that we are inside all day. We don't really go outside and spend hours like when we are farming or hunting and gathering and we use sunscreen and we use sunscreen at inappropriate times you don't need it before 10 um, and you don't need it after 3 in our northern climate here and for D3 we just don't get enough sunshine between um, November and February to actually get enough to convert plus you know we're all covered up to stay warm mm -hmm. so it is recommended that we supplement for vitamin D3 but if you supplement for vitamin D3, you also need to increase K2 because if you're making all those K2 um, reactive uh, proteins, then the K2 has to do its work. Right. And that K2, uh, vitamin K2. Otherwise, it's just passing through yeah, again, right? You know. Exactly, exactly. And vitamin T K2 activates your K2. It just activates all of those proteins. Hmm. And the proteins are really important because they move the calcium into the proper areas of your body, such as your bones and your teeth, and it helps remove the calcium from the areas where it shouldn't be, such as your arteries and your soft tissues. Right. Don't want them there. <laughs> no. And if you're thinking about supplementing with K2, there are actually 
two kinds of K2 out there for supplements. And the one you want to reach for and use is the MK7, and it's clearly marked on the bottles. Okay. And that will help you find it. And if you're lucky, and you'll find a supplement that has a good proportion of D3 calcium and MK7. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Sounds like wise advice, Jan. Yeah. Well, and, and it is, I, you know, I think we do suffer from wanting overly simple answers, right? I mean, the, the idea of just, <laughs> just drink your milk was so simple, right? And, and we like simplicity. Really. But, you know, <laughs> we just, do. but when you think about how complex the human body is, I mean, it doesn't make sense that a simple answer is going to be the solution. I mean, we have to actually deal with, it's not like it's that complex. I mean, you're just talking about the fact yeah. that you have to have the right nutrients mm -hmm. at the right time in the right balance. Yes and enough sunshine and you know, <laughs> everything in moderation, right? And it gets the yes. system working right. So excellent. Exactly. Well, we have been talking about how to build a better, how to build better bones for life. And in this yes. episode, we've been talking about that it's not what you eat, it's what you absorb that matters. It's got to actually stay there. That not everybody needs milk or not every body needs milk, <laughs> as, uh, as Jan emphasized. It's and that, that, you know, it's not as simple as just, hey, I need more vitamin D, so let me just get some sunshine. No, it's building this proper balance in the body, especially with this D3K2 thing, and uh, you know, reading those nutrient labels and looking for the things that Jan yeah. is advising. So um, this has been really helpful. We've got two more healthy Building Better Bones for Life episodes yeah. coming your way. Uh, if you don't want to miss out, you've got to get connected to uh, to Jan's source of all this great information, and that's over at invibehealth.com. This whole series is called Six Weeks to Wellness, and if you get to the website, you'll see why. So head over to invibehealth.com. Now, here's the cool offer that Jan has. She has a book that's on Amazon, but you can get it free uh, at the website just by clicking on the little book banner, putting your information in. It gives you a download of her ebook, and it puts you on her mailing list so that you get notifications of all the cool things that she's got going on, including yeah. this series on how to build better bones <laughs> for life. So join us for the ongoing series. Do it by you know signing up at invibehealth.com, get the book, and join us for part three. Jan, I look forward to learning what you have to teach me then. Great. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>